after him, using a weapon all the way around, adopting it again, he jumps on Riley. No! Here comes Torigno. Out of the game for the rest of this period. Out he goes. No score. He starts knocking the referees around. Dave pounces out, I'll help you get out of here. Brown isn't going to go easy. Jim Trotter doesn't want to be thrown out, too. Out you go, says Lara. John Hall coming down to see that he gets a square shake. They took his skates off. He wanted to hit somebody. Dave Powell took out. He wanted to hurt somebody with a skate. He took his skate off. wanted to hurt somebody. Dave Powell says, I'll show you how to hit with skates. You're talking to the boss. Oh, Dave Pound, all it took was Judy Sawinski to set him off, and then this on top of it. Little Richard Brown, causing oh, a lot of trouble. The clock is still ticking off. Dave Pound says, I gotta win somewhere, and by George, I'll do it in the infield if I have, if I can't do it in the office. Jim Trotter screaming his lungs out. Earlene Brown and Dave Brown. He's not going to be calmed down. Nothing's going to stop that man now. They've gone too far. Pirating players and then drop kicking and abuse by two Richard Dent and to Danny Riley and other skaters. Brown is ordered to get out of there. had his trouble. he better get out. The jammer is out. That's the little man, Harold Jackson, number two for the Thunderbirds. They're going to pour it on now. Up to the big man himself. Otis Williams takes a shot at him. And Jerry Cattell. Jerry Cattell gets in at him. And he pops right through there. Coming out again. Tripling the defenses against this little man. There's a drop kick again from little Richard Brown. He's got his skates on. No score. And now Dave Brown says this man has got to go. He's a madman. This kid has gone out of his mind. And the fans say, we've had it with you, brother. Two seconds remaining in this period. Remember, at the conclusion of this period, we break for a short period of interviews. And believe me, you'll hear about it from Dave Pound. Don't wander away now. At the conclusion of this period, in 58 seconds, we'll be into the interview period, and it will be Harry. Believe me. Dave Pound, he's not going to be quieted. Earlene Brown is still shouting down in the infield. They're calling for the cameras, and they get there. And it's Quinn. Greg Quinn gets out of there with Otis Williams, big, tall kid. This Williams, number 64, falls and hammers away at the head of Quinn. Quinn comes right back to him. The little man takes it on his back. Spirit, the Thunderbirds are in front. They got 19 seconds remaining in this period. Paying back to defend the big king himself, Trotter. Trotter the king. Riley says, here you go, Sonny. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. Five big ones for the Thunderbirds. And I poured it on as the period ends. And in my book, they picked up five. 25 to 16 and ends the period. And don't forget, interviews following this period in just one moment as soon as we get an official score. There it is, 25 to 16, the T-Birds in front. Stick with us for the interviews.
Ken, I want to ask you one question. What ever possessed you to do a dirty trick like that? What is, what's got into you? Oh, possession. There's no, no, nothing possessed me to do anything. As far as I'm concerned, Jess had never got a chance. Jess is a nice guy, a great guy. As far as I'm concerned, Dave is nothing but a has-been. I'm glad I'm off the team and I'll stay where I'm at right now. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You go ahead, keep thinking like that. You need friends, Miss Sawinski. You need I've them badly. Friends. I've got them. I've got them. I've got the whole warrior team behind me. I don't need anybody else. I don't need Dave Pound. I don't need Sally Vega. She's a nothing. As hey. far as I'm concerned, I'm staying here, and this is where I'll stay. Hey, dummy, I got a question for you. How can you knock this great skater in front of those fans out there? This woman just went from the bottom to the top. She just went to the world champion Philadelphia Warriors. I'm not saying anything about her ability. I'm saying she just did a dirty trick a lousy trick to do. No, no, I'm not. You convince yourself. You're not. As far as I'm concerned, you're a nothing, too. I'm on the Warrior team. I'll stay on the Warrior team. David, to me, is nothing. He's rude. Oh, he's, he's not a gentleman. He's nothing that I... And Sally oh, Vega's just as bad. She I can't is, believe no. that you're talking this way, Judy. Of all the people and all the assistance this team has tried to do <laughs> and give you for you to turn your back on this team. I don't care what you do to me personally, but this team should be very important to you. Wait a minute, Judy. What's, the, what's come over you, Sawinski? What's come over well, There was a time when we, can, we got together like a family on this team. I just got back. You want me to back. carry the violin for you, Vega? Look at all right, you want me to tell you the truth? Then I'm okay. I'm not going to kiss your feet anymore. You don't you, have you, to because I'm her. better than you. And it's very it. obvious, Miss Vega, that I am better than you. I can, I can prove that I'm better than you. You're just jealous. Jealous of what? A has-been? A has-been? I'm not jealous of anything. I'll tell you one thing, sweetheart. You think you're so good, right? I know I'm convinced I'm better than you, and I'll prove it to the people. I'll give them the best thing if they ever want. I'll prove it. You want to prove it? You want to show the fans, and you want want me to put you down in front of the fans? I'll do this for you. I'll match race you. Two races. One in St. Louis, and one in Chicago. I'm going to prove it to you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chicago. Chicago. Like a fool that you are. That's all. Now, okay, looking minute. like a fool, and I'm going to win. So, Winsky, if i got to prove it to you, I'll do it. Yeah. You've got, got it, Chicago. You're acting like a child. We, we got Look you, man. It. We got you. We got the fans right there in Chicago. We bring, we'll bring. we pack that building. In St. Louis, Fourth we'll beat building. you. So, Winsky can take you any day of the week. You mean you're going to do two match races, one yeah. in St. Louis and again in Chicago later? That's right. You know, I was born and raised in Chicago. I'm going to give the fans something That's they won't right, forget. When they say they don't want Sally Vega, it's obvious that I'm the best. I'm going to prove it to them, and they're going to walk you off there anymore. But you're yelling. You want the races? You've got them. You're on the way. Well, you can go right? ahead and stick with this man, and we'll just oh, you man a wise All story. right, all right. Oh. It all oh. happens oh. next Saturday night in St. Louis at the Keel Auditorium, and again a week from Sunday, that Sunday, at the Amphitheater in Chicago. Be there to see it all. Here's where it starts. Well, there we are, into the period, and believe me, the chips are down. So next Saturday in St. Louis at the Keel Auditorium, and a week from tomorrow, that Sunday, at the Amphitheater in Chicago, Sally Vega says, I want that gal, and I'll take her. She says, I'm not afraid. She says, I'll show you, and I'll show Jess, and I'll show Arnold, and I'll show you all. Hot on the jam, little Jennifer Marshall. She's up to a double defense. And Judy Sawinski is, believe it or not, skating in a warrior uniform. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. He's in a warrior uniform. And Jennifer with a beautiful sit-out. She picked up two good ones. And that's the two she wanted. Two good ones. 27 to 16 now. They're moving. 11-point cushion. And Judy Sawinski takes to the track in the jersey of the Philadelphia Warriors, number 62. Well, she's 86 as far as the Thunderbirds are concerned, 86. That means we're just out of her. What a shame, what a shame. What a shameful thing to do to a team that's been as good to her as that team has. Here we go. Judy Sawinski out against the Denise Todd. Boxes her ears and takes her out with a solid block. He's going to try to get away with a Thunderbird tights. <laughs> Laszlo's got her. Sally's got her. Laszlo. Arnold back to assist. They're trailing by 11. 
Arnold, back to his sister, newfound friend. Ah, right to the back. There's two. And she's in there for five. Knocked down. Thunderbird. Number 62. In my book, she is 86. That means we're just out. We're just out. Big Earlene Brown comes to the track and she says, yes, you. You. I want you, girl. Mr. Hayden comes up here, spokes a word of comforting. Something to Miss Swinsky. Oh, Sally was wonderful. Sally was wonderful. Judy says she's better than Sally. She wants to prove it. <laughs> Sally says, all right, you got your chance. I don't think they found it very happy about that. Sally said it's a tough match race, but she says, I'll take care of this gal. And again, a week from tomorrow, that's Vienna Sunday in Chicago at the Amphitheater. And there's Earlene Brown. And look at Judy Arnold imitating the big airplane. She makes contact. And again. She says, you want some trouble? You got it. You want trouble? Here it is. She wants to box her ears. Check her down. Get up, woman. Dave Pound says, go ahead, give it a whirl. Four, three, two, one, one. That's no score. And ho, ho, ho. She wasn't looking for the DC-10. Patty Cabin. And there's another one. big gal, Earlene Brown. That one was for Chawinski. Sawinski heard come up and says in a hurry. Oh, oh, brother. Dave Bounce says, all right, gal. I don't blame you. Time is called with a score 27 21. T Birds, who else? wearing a uniform of the Philadelphia Warriors, and the fans are giving it to her. Ho, ho, ho! I think she made a bad choice, really. The call for the jammers. The Thunderbirds get their little gal out of there, Peggy Fowler. Sally Vega takes up the target. It's Vega and Fowler. Out against Rickaball. They're coming up in scoring position and laying back to defend is Congleton. D. Wilson is the opposing jammer. 25 seconds to go. D. Wilson. Laszlo takes good care of her. Laszlo back to defend against D. Wilson. Ho oh, oh. ho! Vega goes back and takes care of opposing jammer. They're coming again. Four, three, two, one. Over. Let me see. No score. No score. Sawinski throwing. Look out, Laszlo. Dave Pound gets in there. Says, "Are you want?"